hijab scandal. Iranian, ambas Iranian ambassador to UK fired for allowing unveiled women at embassy event. Dun, dun, dun. Recently, wow. Mose uh, Bar uh, Baharvand, Tehran's ambassador to London, hosted an event celebrating the 43rd anniversary of the 1979 Islamic Revolution. An attendee of the London event secretly took video footage that showed several women not wearing a headscarf at this government event, an act that is illegal back in Iran where compulsory hijab is enforced. This video quickly caused outrage in pro-regime Iranian social media circles. After state-controlled media picked up the video, a Basij student union wrote to the current Iranian foreign minister to reprimand, quote, those responsible for this breach of their revolutionary principles. Baharand was later sacked from his position for breaking the norms and not enforcing women wearing the hijab. Farce News, a news agency directly controlled by the notorious Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, or IRGC, said that the, new, uh, said the event was not in check with the quote-unquote values of the 1979 Islamic Revolution. They called Bahravan's event an insult. His dismissal comes at a crucial stage of the West's relationship with Iran. The ambassador's sudden departure also puts at risk Britain's attempt to negotiate for the release of three British-Iranian dual nationals held as diplomatic hostages in Iran. So for people who don't know, this is like, okay, this is in London, okay? So they are, they are the ambassador, the Iranian ambassador in, the UK, in London is expected to enforce hijab, hijab protocols in his embassy in London, okay? So women coming to, coming to this Iranian event, and it, it was very, by the way, the Iranian social media was went viral with these videos, okay? Because this is this was a celebration of the revolution of the 1979, this was the anniversary of the revolution. And a key part of the revolution, the 1979 revolution, is the imagery of Islam and the symbolism and the branding of Islam. And a lot of people, the most, uh, the most visual change that people, because people, we are visual creatures, the most visual change is Iran going from not having hijab as mandatory to going to, to have hijab mandatory. Like from all, I know like it's a lot more than that, but the most visual uh, representative of Iran before and after the re revolution that represents the new ideals and the new values of the Islamic Republic is that women have are supposed to wear the hijab. So to celebrate this anniversary at an event where women are just walking around without hijab, it was very ironic. And the anti-regime Iranians were just having a field day with this. They were sharing it on Twitter, like, oh my, look at these hypocrites, right? Like, look at look at their own event. Like, obviously they want, they don't even believe in their own values because as soon as they have freedom, they have parties like this, like how hypocritical do you have to be when back in Iran, you force everybody to wear the hijab, but in celebration of these, of the anniversary of you in, in, installing these values, forcing these values on the rest of us, you in a country that is free, you just have these events without hijab, right? Do you want, should I play this video? Yes, you want play the video. There isn't actually like, you can barely hear the music playing anyways. Oh, there's music. Okay, I don't think piano playing will have copyright. Well, exactly. So this is an event in the embassy celebrating the anniversary of the 1979 Islamic Revolution in Iran. And the, the key thing that they're highlighting is this woman who pay, playing the piano and she doesn't have any job. <laughs> And here's another woman with a sari. And, and, and she, she is have standing like three, like a few feet away from the ambassador. Oh. He's like right there. Uh, which one is him? That guy with his this arms one? crossed? No, 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 no. no. One more over. No, this one way. more over. Yes, yeah, so that's the, that's Mose. Mose. Okay. How do you know these things? Okay, Susanna, like you knew, you know too much. Seriously, it's getting scary. I can scary. just recognize <laughs> his face. 
I mean, how do you even know? I'm, I'm Iranian. I don't even know who the ambassador of Iran in the UK is. Like, how do you know these things? This is insane. You shouldn't be knowing I, this I did the research for the show. <laughs> okay, this, you're doing too much research. Maybe chill out a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's another woman with the hijab. Oh, look at this. The, the zoom recording. in. The zoom oh, in is so good. Like under the picture of Khomeini and Khomeini, you have women you with that You see them watching you. You are going to act like this when they are they're on the wall watching you. <laughs> so the person who's recording this video is trying to show the irony. He went from the non he, he was like he or she was like recording the non hijabi pianist, and then went and zoomed in on Khomeini and Khomeini's picture to show the irony. <laughs> Guys, this went viral. I don't know it's if you understand. So good. Like, <laughs> yeah, I don't know if people can appreciate the irony here. Like, I don't think like unless you're familiar with the ideals and the, that the Islamic Republic of Iran has. Like, I don't. I, I don't know if you could appreciate how hypocritical this seemed to a lot of Iranians and the reason why this went viral on Iranian Twitter and other social media, right? Oh, I, <laughs> I know what the reaction okay. was on... <laughs> I know what the reaction was on um, a pro-regime social medias. They, you know, they got this guy fired, basically. <laughs> like, yeah. Um, yeah. But I, what was the reaction from the anti-regime social media because that's what I haven't seen reported on as much. They basically are, they basically are saying these people don't believe in their own nonsense and they want better for themselves. They just want the rest of us to live in misery. But if they have their own uh, freedoms, they would live. Like there's so many examples that are on Iranian social media of like pro-regime, like really, really people close to the regime. And they're li- they ch- follow them and chase them when they live in Canada or United States. The lifestyle that they have and the way they live, or their children living in America or other countries or in the UK, they're like, look, they do not look at their the way they live as you know is completely in contradiction to what they say back home is supposed to be the values that they are. You know, when it comes, they're forcing this upon us, but they leave Iran and they go live lives that they that is not in consistent with the things that they are forcing upon us, right? So, and this is one of, one. Of, there's so many examples like this. Like they, they you know, a lot of like um, people like chase these people down because a lot of them do live, want to leave Iran, right? And live, uh, live in Canada or United States or in UK. So your other Iranians who live outside of Iran, like chase them down and record them just to show how hypocritical they are. So this it is It reminds like, me. Recently, I saw footage of, I can't remember who he was, but some minister or government official who was very influential in something along the lines of like really enforcing gender segregation. I can't remember exactly what it was, but there was footage of him in the gym. Someone had like followed him into the gym and he was on a treadmill walking and like a few feet away from him was a woman like, you know, in yoga pants, like high ponytail on her treadmill too. And they're like, look at you. Like you go to another country and this is how you act. Like and you, yet you want to deprive us of all these things. Do you know yeah. what I'm talking about? Maybe you can give more yes, detail. Yes, yes. Actually, I'm surprised that you know that because yeah i don't know how again again i don't know how you know these things this was like mostly within iranian social media didn't like this was on iranian social media it wasn't like it didn't got an, an, any non-iranian news so again you know you know too much <laughs> guys you guys should really appreciate how much susanna is involved in all of this in how much knowledge she has about, about everything so, this guy's like the video like- because you're yeah, just saying I mean, that much. because you're starting to get freaked out that I might actually be an agent of Tehran. <laughs> yes. No, I'm actually intimidated because I'm supposed to, like, you You might get to a point where you know more about these things than I am. So, like, you're becoming a threat. I might have to replace you. No, but, but guys, guys, uh, guys, like, Susanna spends a lot of time just to make sure that she has the uh, right information for you guys. So, please like the video because that, the, you know, to, you know, we, like... I mean, if you don't appreciate what I'm doing, appreciate what Susanna is doing by liking this video. There was um, one more quote that I thought was really funny. Um, yeah. Uh, so one of the news agencies called his event an insult and, quote, far from the principles of the Islamic revolution, which has caused a great deal of anger among the pious Iranians. 
<laughs> oh yeah, this is pro pro regime speak. It's kind of yeah. like Puya saying Susanna. <laughs> Susanna. Oh, thank you, Puya. Like it. Ooh, Susanna Rex. Um, I uh, knew we had hey. to cover this. I'm like, <laughs> guys, like you, it's gonna be gonna have Susanna take over. All right, like, I'm gonna job I'm... scandal. Oh, oh, we're covering this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.